Zach's Rank Buys starts with a short-term buy or strong buy recommendation. Now, here are more Zach's Rank Buys. You know, when investors put money in the stock market, they look for two things, generally growth and income. We've got Alex Kolb here, who's our growth and income analyst at Zach's.com, to tell us about a couple of stocks that provide just that. And in case you can't tell us apart, Alex is the better-looking one of the two of us. Come on. <laughs> so uh, you've brought back one that we've talked about in the past, Aaron Rents. R-N-T is the ticker symbol. And that was the first time, last time we talked about it, was the first time that I had heard that. And so I said, Aaron Rents what? Now I know. <laughs> Furniture and electronics and home furnishings. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, you said it. Appliances also, things like that. Um, it, it's doing well. It continues to do well. It was doing well when we spoke about it before. It reported its fourth quarter since then and continues to perform well. A lot of that is attributed to the fact that they cater to the moderate uh, consumer, moderate income consumer. And this is kind of the environment, you know, to, to, to cater to that type of crowd. And um, so, again, in this environment, that's why it's performing well. And to give you a little uh, uh, proof here, this is a slide showing uh, its performance in comparison to the S&P 500 over the past one year, outperforming uh, the S&P. This strong performance is based on solid fundamentals, such as I mentioned a moment ago, reported the fourth quarter that included earnings per share of 39 cents versus the year prior 29, 28 cents, I'm sorry. And revenues also jumped uh, by 11% on a year-over-year -year basis. Um, these are all good things, uh, so analysts continue to be upbeat on, on the company. Um, as you can see here, earnings estimates are on the rise. And um, also I want to mention with this company, uh, growth and income, there is a dividend, of course. It recently uh, declared a dividend of almost two cents. It's, it's on the small side. The yield translates into a, po into a 0 0.03 yield. Um, small, but within its industry, competitive, ahead of most of its peers. Okay. And then another one you're talking about this time around is... Entelos Holdings Corporation, NTLS, the ticker symbol, on the NASDAQ. What do they do? They are an integrated communications company, provide wireless communications, uh, wireless phone service. They also do landline phone service, uh, local and long distance, uh, and other uh, communication type stuff that includes like video conferencing, things like that, okay. internet related stuff. All right. Um, again, here, uh, the second slide shows the outperformance in comparison to the market. Uh, this is the S&P uh, 500 that I'm comparing the, the Entelos to again. And also, one-year period, it outperformed the S&P. And just like the case with, with r and I mean, these are you know, solid fundamentals that are driving this, this growth in comparison to uh, the, the major averages. In this case, with Entelos, um, fourth quarter earnings per share were 15 cents versus the year prior, 10 cents. And uh, revenues came in at, uh, at $140.6 million. Uh, that's above the year prior, $128 million. Um, I might mention also with this one, estimates are on the rise as well, as was the case with Aaron Rents. And again, because this one is also a growth in income holding, we have a yield here that's really favorable, especially in this environment. It's 5.4 percent. You so, might mention that, yeah. Yeah, I'd like to. <laughs> I, think, I think everyone should know. Uh, the the 5.4 uh, translates into a quarterly dividend of 26 cents that was recently declared, um, well ahead of its industry in terms of dividend. All right. Do you own either of those two stocks? I do not. All right. Alex is a nice guy, and that's why we let him take certain liberties here on this segment. If you want to read more about some of the growth and in income stocks Alex has written about lately, go to Zacks.com. And as we always tell you, over in the upper right-hand corner is where all of the Zacks rank buys are listed by category. With Alex Kolb, I'm Terry Ruffalo.